Hi, this is Shelley Kraft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the LHA Life Sciences Week in San Francisco, 2013. I have Jerry Shelton of Cryoport, a publicly traded company. The symbol is C-Y-R-X. Jerry, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you very much, Shelley. Thank you for having me. It's good to have you. Let's go right into it. The view on the company. Give me the overview. Well, the company, uh, Cryoport, is a um, logistics company. We transport uh, cryogenically uh, biologics. So, I was good with the overview, 20,000 feet. That's what you guys do. What do you transport? How do you transport it? What makes you different? Well, we work with a patented technology, and uh, it starts with our doer, and uh, it's wrapped in a technology of um, software and logistics, and we transport tissue, uh, cells, uh, any biologic material. We're a service to the bio biotech industry at large. So what differentiates you from other companies that may or may not do something similar to what you do? Well, we can hold minus 150 degrees for 10 days in a dynamic condition. In addition to that, we have a full chain of custody and chain of condition of all materials shipped. So in other words, you don't lose many things. We don't lose anything, and you always know the condition that you get the materials in is the same condition as the materials were shipped. So why is it so important for the biotech industry to use a service like yours when they can locally perhaps get tissues you know what 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 how big is this industry you know what's going on we think that uh, our uh, opportunity is about a billion dollar uh, industry and that's out of a 250 billion dollar market the reason that one would want to use our services and they're not really available on a local basis, is that we hold the temperature at minus 150 degrees centigrade, which is, or Celsius, which is below the glass transition point where all biologic activity stops. So you are the only company that can deliver a pure sample. Well, we're one of the few companies that can deliver the pure sample, but the most important thing is the information that accompanies that sample as well as the condition of the sample on its arrival. So let's say you, you have tissue that you got in, in Boston and you have to deliver it to Austin. How do you get it there if there's weather, delays? You know, that's why the 150 degree below zero works, right? That's exactly right. What would happen is the laboratory at the uh, point of origin would call our crowd port saying that they wanted a shipment. We would ship out a container. Uh, that container would be already in a package. It's called a doer. And that package would be, uh, in your de de definition, the definition that you, de you described, would be a three-legged shipment. So the container would arrive at the laboratory fully charged at minus 150 degrees within the chamber. Uh, the scientists would load the sample or the commodity in the chamber. Uh, they would turn over to the second flap, which is already pre-addressed. Wouldn't make any difference whether it was going to Austin or it was going to Istanbul. It would be the same because we'd have the customs work already done if it were going to a foreign country. It would go to the destination laboratory where the materials would be removed. And if the container was, uh, they were finished with a container, that is the re recipient, uh, that container then would be sent to Crowdport for recycling. We're a green company. Everything we do is recyclable. Now you're getting into it. I like that. So it doesn't matter who transports it because what you're really providing is the packaging within which those samples are transported. We provide not only the packaging, but we provide the information that gives you that chain of condition and that chain of custody all along the way. And this is very important in science. Why? It's important that because you want to know the condition of the samples. If uh, biologics change, uh, then your sample or your assay or your work could be destroyed. So when you say it's in the biotech industry, is it in research? Or is it in testing? Or is it in, you know, various, you know, tell me where it's used in the biotech industry. It starts off in biotech and research and development, but it could go as far as finished products. Uh, one of our customers actually uh, has an animal vaccine that they ship uh, cryogenically. And there are other 
uh, biopharmaceuticals that are shipped cryogenically as well. So it covers the whole gamut, but it actually depends on the material. So in other words, I, I'm really curious, I'm sorry. <laughs> so now the material comes in and it's, it's cryogenically frozen, of right. course. And then what do they do? They take it out and it, they bring it back or they refreeze it and they take it to room temperature and that's when they start to use it? Yeah, that's right. There's a protocol for freezing uh, biologics, and the protocol roughly is taking it down one degree per minute. But there's an actual protocol for every atom and every molecule uh, that's being shipped. I should say molecule, not atom. Uh, and there's a, a similar protocol for defrosting or for thawing out uh, the, uh, the frozen sample. And usually is it's always related to the crystalline structure from water. So, you know, so in bringing the temperature down, it's a, uh, a reverse osmosis and then bringing it back up. There's another osmosis that takes place where it's rehydrated and it's brought back to the original condition. So, if you ever wanted to know how the biotech industry gets their samples. <laughs> this is how. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a website. www.cryoport.com. That's C-R-Y-O-P-O-R-T. What's your, what, what's your background? Uh, uh, my background is, uh, is building businesses. I've turned around a number of businesses in my career. I've had uh, scientific businesses before. I built a business information group for Thomson Reuters. Uh, I built a very large software operation called Web Fountain for IBM, and uh, I advise private equity and uh, other companies in healthcare. Uh, and I do. A, I have a consult, had a consulting practice before taking over the Cryoport operation. Well, for you to leave that to come to this, you must have seen something that you liked. This is a company that deserves to live. Cryoport furnishes a service that's vital to the biotechnology business, and uh, it needs. Uh, to have leadership and it needs to have execution and that's what we're all about. We're about executing, supporting our customers and being market aligned. Ladies and gentlemen, what more could I possibly get? Thank you very much for those answers. Jerry Shelton, Cryoport, publicly traded company symbol CYRX. Let's get that website one more time. www.cryoport.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at LHA, Live Sciences Week. 2013 here in San Francisco. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN. Thank you very much for coming on to SNN Live. Thank you very much, Shelley. You're quite welcome.